Individual bees have no chance against the hornets. Gradually, they weaken the bees' defense. Eastern honey bees. Workers collecting pollen. They belong to an enormous colony of 30,000 bees. The colony has made its home here in this hollow tree, which offers shelter from the elements. Inside the tree is a complex and cooperative society. All bees are dedicated to the colony. At times vibrating their bodies to produce heat and maintain a perfect temperature for the next generation. But the bees are not alone in the forest. An Asian giant hornet has identified their location. The hornet studies the nest before returning to its own colony. This scout has information to share. Using an advanced form of chemical communication, the scout passes on details of the exact location of the honeybee's nest. The scout returns. The bees shake in unison to warn off the hornet. But this time, he is not alone. The hornets do sometimes eat the bees themselves, but they are more interested in the protein-rich larvae inside. Individual bees have no chance against the hornets. Gradually, they weaken the bees' defense. There are many casualties. But it will take more than this to overcome the colony. The bees prepare to fight back. The counter-attack is started by a handful of worker bees. It appears suicidal. But the bees are programmed to lay down their lives for the survival of the colony. And the tables begin to turn. Bee stings can't kill the hornets. But they do weaken them. As the bees gain the upper hand, pushing their attackers back, they now release the full force of their defense for the last remaining hornet. They swarm, immobilizing it. The bees vibrate, raising the temperature at the center to a level the hornet cannot withstand. And the hornet is cooked alive. The bees have developed this unique and effective defense 
over millennia. Many more bees than hornets died in this encounter. But their colony has survived and will continue to thrive here in the forest until the next encounter. <laughs>